Hello Transformer fans, this is 37 Rust Dog back again with another Transformers review and this time this is over the Transformers R.I.D. 2015 Warrior Class Starscream. Yeah, I did see the other one that, um, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to call it, it's that Power Surge Starscream. Well, I really didn't like that one too much. But, I saw this one and I saw numerous reviews of him. And what really brought my attention was the fact that well, when I put him in robot mode, you're going to see what I mean. Because a lot of people have already noticed it. <coughs> but anyway. Yeah, he, I mean, yeah, he has awesome uh, robot or vehicle mode on top. But when you flip him over, you can see a lot of robot kibble underneath. In other words, basically the outline of robot mode. But if you notice his legs... For those that have the uh, Cyclonus that came with the uh, Hot Rod uh, Cyclonus 2-pack, you'll notice that his legs partially transforms just like Cyclonus. But, other than that, I mean, he's... I think he's a badass. But, to transform him, what we're going to do is take the guns off. That's number one. And I'll explain why what got me to get this guy. Now we're gonna un we're gonna br take these wings. We're gonna fold them back like that. Same thing on the other side. Now that's out of the way. You come back in here, pop the hands off the um, tabs, and extend them out like that. Let everyone see. Now you come back here, pop this loose, bring it so about that far out like that what you're going to do next is take the cockpit arch that back bend it and then it'll drop right into place and then all you do is take this swing that up and it'll lock into place like that and it's almost getting ready to take shape now, the next step is you're going to pop these arms off, but it's a real pain in the butt. But, however, you can just get close enough to it. You can move those wings out of the way because they can get really annoying. Um, you're going to loosen that just like that. Bring it all the way up, and you're going to see that little notch. You're going to tab them in just like that. Tab them in like so. Bring the arms down. Bring out the hands. Same thing. Turn and bring out the hands. Hey, and he's almost done. Now, some people I've seen, whenever they put him in robot mode, they'll have him display like this or like that. Pretty much like his G1-ish. And no. And I'll explain why. Because I think a lot of people have explained it. Then you bring, bring his legs down like that. There's going to be a tab right here. And you're just going to tab... His legs in like that. Undo the legs. And last but not least, if you want, you can angle them down about right here. And, and I'll explain why. Now what my next goal is to do is make a crown for him. Yeah, I said a crown. For uh, like the little reenactment of the scene where Starscream uh, proclaims himself as um, the uh, he's the Decepticon leader, and all of a sudden Galvatron shows up. Well, there's Starscream, all in a nutshell, and he does look closely resembling his uh, G1. I mean, I like him a lot better than the Power Surge one that the big one that costs like forty bucks because. I think it's crap, but this one's better. But, <clears throat> now to do a size comparison, uh, I'm not going to do any size comparisons right now. But, I do, actually, I do have a size comparison. However, I can I was going to compare him to the Combaticons. But, I don't want to run the spoiler. Because, I'm working on a stop motion continuity, yeah, continuity, whatever that word is. That um, it's going to be a part of the Cross Worlds. However, it's going to have 
Starscream, and the Combaticons in one ship. Galvatron, Cyclonus, Scourge, and the Sweeps in the other ship. But, I'm going to get to the explanation on what the ship is, they're going to be in. But there's Starscream in a nutshell. And this is 37 Rust Dog, signing off.